Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. We are joining from the Mobile World Congress 2024 in Barcelona. Now I'm delighted to be joined by Annabel Huo, President at Combo International, and Caroline Chen, VP of the Networks and Edge Group at Intel. Hi, ladies. Thank you very much for joining today. So first, Caroline, Intel is a leader in high-performance silicon, but we also see the company providing various solutions for mobile private networking. Can you please help us understand the strategic intent for this move? So we do a, a line of uh, high-performance silicon platforms, like you mentioned, targeting like the data center, for example. But we also providing different variants of uh, that versions of uh, high-performance silicon for the mobile network. We are a leader in virtual in 5G, especially around the open RAN and the desegregated uh, network. We did notice that uh, the trend is very clear. When you roll out the 5G, there is a need for monetization to improve the return of investment, especially with the onset of uh, AI that everybody's talking about in the show. Everybody's talking about AI and AI everywhere. So when you combine private networks with edge AI solution, it accelerates the B2B revenue, accelerates the return of investment for 5G networks. So we put that as a strategic initiative. We are putting out both in terms of the silicon as well as enabling software to for, uh, you know, accelerate the path to private networks with the edge AI use cases. And Annabelle, mobile private networks are much about mobile radio technology, and Compa has a leading position there. From a Compa perspective, how do you see your RF technology being relevant to the mobile private network market? So, Compa, we have been always proud as an RF expert. Um, I would say that since we started, that's our bread and butter. And nowadays, we are seeing that um, your network is only as good as where you are have capacities and also you have coverage. And this problem is, or this element is even more critical and essential in a mobile private network setting. Because when you talk about automations, when you talk about digitizations, the delay and also um, the overall capacity requirement of the network is definitely essential for supporting the application that's running on top of it. So I would say our technologies continue to be very essential and very critical. And we are very proud to be an industry expert and also technology expert on this. And we'll continue to do great innovation on the RF side. So Caroline, Intel provides more than just silicons mm -hmm. and it also delivers software solutions. Can you elaborate on those? So there are two aspects of it. We provide software to our partners who can use them to adopt and adapt much faster to produce their own private network solution. The other thing we actually just announced at the show is our Edge platform, which provides secure onboarding uh, Edge AIs platform. Um, as I mentioned security, that's which is a really critical part, especially around uh, private networks. This is all of the, in the intent to round out the social. Remember I said at the beginning, when you have private networks, you need to have, mo most of it comes with some kind of edge AI use cases. Having the AI on the edge will allow the enterprises to develop much faster the, the use cases uh, and the data, monetizing the data, which tend to get a lot more coming with the 5G, all the sensors you have around. So that really justify and to a large extent accelerate the deployment of private networks. And Annabelle, what role does MPN software play in your company? By building the network in order to monetize it, that's what everyone's talking right now, we need to have those essential applications that's running on top of it. Be it automations, be it the ERP or software or any digitizations or IOTs that's running on top of the, the network itself. So. Um, like I said, um, application and software definitely would be a very critical and essential part. And we start to see a lot of interesting AI and machine learning applications that start to run on the network that would definitely help the enterprise to realize the uh, financial values or the social value of the network itself. And I think that would definitely accelerate um, the adaptation of the private network itself. And how do you utilize Intel into your product portfolio? 
We've been collaborating with Intel since the year of um, 2018, and uh, we are very glad with their um, FlexRent solutions. Um, Intel actually provided us a very, with a very flexible and also very scalable platform where we can collectively um, come up with a solution that meets not only the technology aspect of from the customers, but also from a commercial perspective. Um, I would say the network that we are providing today through Intel actually would be able to more scalable, more future-proof, and at the same time, we're talking about edge computing, the edge capabilities that will enable our customers for the future when they start to see more applications in their network. So which sectors are utilizing the benefits of mobile private networking the most? So we are seeing manufacturing, definitely. Uh, logistics, like port, uh, and ports and airports and so on. Energy sectors or in gas, anywhere that has a lack of connectivity, that hamper them from really digitizing their business. We start seeing healthcare even. You know, some places you don't think that would be the first report, but we are seeing that. And retail also coming up. So anywhere really that has a generate lots of data from sensors, where the data needs to be connected to make sense, people trying to do machine learning, AI on the edge, the oracles require data, and data has an expiration date. Actually, I'm not even saying date, it should be expiration seconds, sometimes in milliseconds. So the essential to have these data being connected and, and be analyzed on the edge, again, back to edge computing, to, to be in order to generate autonomous responses and actions onto those data. I think all of those really start driving the connectivity and the edge AI together. Thanks, Caroline. And Annabelle, do you agree? Um, absolutely. Um, actually, I, I would totally agree, especially on the manufacturing and energy sector because um, we've run several commercial deployments around the world that, um, that's specifically for manufacturing and energy sector, because they would be the one who's actually benefiting from the digitizations. They see the benefits of automations by improving their process, by improving their efficiencies overall. They are able to run the factory 24 hours in a row instead of only five to six. Every, every day. And I would say anyone who would benefit from digitization, they would see the immediate effect or benefits that were brought by the private network. And how are mobile private networks being deployed around the world? And can you speak to supply chain and how transformation specialists, system integrators, neutral hosts and MNOs fit in this? I, I think the, uh, unlike the public network, the uh, private network space has a lot, needs an entire ecosystem. So everyone you just mentioned, for example, the role that Intel plays as a technology part of the role that uh, Comba plays as the RF experts and the technology and the provider is essential. We also need uh, SIs, a global system integrator, as well as a very specific vertical in-country, sometimes even regional integrators. We obviously need the MNOs because they provide the, the, the spectrum. And many times we actually need the application developers. So having this common API, uh, such as what GSMA is, is uh, developing called Kamara, actually really started opening up what you need the telemetries from the network. That gives you the, a the API the data, the information that the developers need to drive the application. I think all of that really becomes a much more complete and rich ecosystem. Annabel, your thoughts about this? Our network is only as valuable as the application that's running on top of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. What yeah. data we are carrying, what kind of application we're running, that's where the network got to be monetized. So. Absolutely, it's the applications provider, the software enabler, and also the AI and machine learning, and also the IoT provider, who are part of the ecosystem is absolutely critical for the development of the private network. And also I would say the adaptation of the end users, um, the IT side of each individual company. That's a good point. Yes. And um, if they are able to see the value and if they're able to monetize the network itself in their, in, the old, uh, in their own system and procedures, they will see immediate impact and they will be able to continue to unleash the value of the network itself. And what is next for Intel and Comba for building upon this momentum? So we've been seeing a lot of talk about 
have a networks in the last few years, people might even say hype. But if you see the, the trend that we are, we are looking at since 2023, this is the year that we are, we are no, no more POC. We're going to be doing scale business. We're going to start rolling out. So Kamba and Intel, in addition to our technology partnership, that we've always been doing. We're going to be doing, we need to be doing some go to market together. We need to be able to reach out to developers and to the end customers, you know, showing them that this is a mature technology and there is a real return of investment TCO in there. So this is the year that we're going to start rolling this out and scaling business. Absolutely. Uh, yes. And on top of, um, Caroline, um, I, I would say that continue to innovate is definitely a key. Really understanding each individual vertical's requirement is absolutely key. That's why a very close collaboration with a company like Intel is very essential because they are, we are able to talk together with the end users and also the application developers so that all together, everyone in the same supply chain or in the same industry can help the end users to realize the value. Yeah. yeah. If I were going to add one more thing is, Private network plus HAR is a game changer. It's a game changer for, for network monetization. Exactly. Thank you very much both for your insights. Thank you. Thank you very much.